Alison Sargent, standing by outside the Palais de Justice, and we can speak to her uh, now. Uh, Alison, tell us, uh, what's on the agenda for today? Well, Bill, today is the day that we're going to be hearing from some of the American men uh, who have been hailed as heroes for thwarting this attack. They're set to arrive here uh, shortly to the courtroom, and they'll be giving a press conference later today. Uh, not all three of them are going to be speaking today. Uh, Spencer Stone, uh, who was the first one to tackle the gunman, uh, he fell ill uh, yesterday and was hospitalized for undisclosed reasons. Uh, his lawyer has confirmed that he will not be speaking today. Uh, we are going to be hearing from Alex Scarlatos and Anthony Sadler. Uh, Scarlatos, like Spencer Stone, was an off-duty serviceman uh, when this attack happened. The three men were in their early 20s, uh, traveling around Europe. They were longtime friends when they thwarted this attack, um, and it really changed their lives. Uh, Clint Eastwood made a film about the event, uh, starring the three men as themselves. They were all given the Legion of Honor. They were given French citizenship. Uh, they've traveled back to France uh, multiple times uh, since these events happened. They said uh, that it was important for them uh, to be here today to give their testimony in person and to look uh, the would-be attacker in the eyes. And that's exactly what's going to be happening uh, pretty shortly here today. So we'll be hearing that testimony a little bit later on in the day. Allison, can you remind us about the events that transpired on August 21st, 2015? Well, this happened on the Talley's train from Amsterdam to Paris. Uh, the gunman boarded in Brussels uh, with almost 300 rounds of ammunition. Uh, he was confronted by several passengers first uh, when he was coming out of the bathroom. Uh, one of them managed to wrestle the Kalashnikov out of his hands, uh, but then he took out his pistol and shot that man. The man was wounded. Uh, the attacker managed to get his Kalashnikov back up off the ground. Uh, he was about to start opening fire. Uh, that's when uh, Spencer Stone first charged him. His other friends followed right behind him. Uh, luckily, the attackers Kalashnikov jammed. They were able to tackle him to the ground uh, with the help of another passenger. Um, these very dramatic events, uh, as I said, changed the lives of these men, hailed as heroes. And this is the first time since that day that they will be looking their attacker in the eyes of all of them in the same room. All right. Thank you very much, Allison.